making inferences about allocation parameter using one sample sign test. At the end of this topic, students should be able to first test hypothesis using the one sample sign test. Second, determine the test value using large sample approximation. This one sample sign test was reported by John Arbutnot in 1710. It is called the sign test because we may convert the data for analysis to a series of plus and minus signs. Introduction One sample sign test requires data converted to plus and minus signs to test a claim regarding the median. We change all data to plus sign when the data are above Hessner value or change the data to minus sign when the data below Hessner value. For any values equal to Hessner, we remove the data from sample size. Assumption The sample available for analysis is a random sample of independent measurements with unknown median M. The variable of interest is measured on at least an ordinal scale and is continuous. The N sample measurements are designated by X1, X2 until Xn. These are the hypotheses for one sample sign test. It is divided into three cases, which is case A, case B, and case C. Test statistic. Do not reject Hessner when we have equal number of plus sign and minus sign. Reject Hessner when have small number of either plus or minus sign. Decision rule. For case A, reject Hessner at the alpha level of significance if the probability is less than or equal to alpha over 2. For case B and C, we reject Hessner at the alpha level of significance if the probability is less than or equal to alpha. Step to solve problem. First, state the hypothesis. Second, compute the test statistic. Third, find critical value and make a decision. The null hypothesis will be rejected if the test statistic is less than or equal to the critical value. And then, make a conclusion. One sample sign test requires table A.1 to find the probability. Further understanding about how to use the table will be shown in the example. Example In a study of myocardial transit time, Ketke et al. measured appearance transit time in a series of subjects with angiographically normal right coronary artery. The median appearance time for this group was 3.50 seconds. Suppose that the another research team repeated the procedure on a sample of 11 patients with significantly occluded right coronary artery and obtained the Could the second team conclude at the 0.05 level of significance that the median appearance transit time in the population from which the sample was drawn is different from 3.50 seconds? These are the data for appearance transit time for 11 patients with significantly occluded right coronary arteries. Remember, when the data are ab above the median value, we change the data to plus sign. When the data below median value, we change the data to minus sign. The most important thing is we must remove the data when the data is equal to median value. From this table, there are 9 minus sign and 1 plus sign. So, we find the probability from the table A.1 by using K equals to R equals to 1 
alpha equals to 0 0.05 n equals to 10 and b equals to 0 0.5 from this table when n equals to 10 and k equals to 0 the value is 0 0.0010 and when k equals to 1 the value is 0 0.0098 so we add up these two value and become 0 0.011 since this was a two-sided test the probability is 2 times 0 0.011 equals to 0 0.022 then we can make the decision since 0 0.022 is less than 0 0.05 which is the value of the alpha, the null hypothesis is rejected. The conclusion is there is enough evidence to support the claim that the median appearance transit time in the population from which its sample was drawn is different from 3.50 seconds. For n equals to 12 or larger, we use this formula to find test value. These are some exercises that you can try by yourself. Good luck!